guys, this is your pal Ed Said. What do you think we'll be talking about today? Melons! That's right, we're gonna learn about melons. Ed goes to school just like you. Ruby has to learn and study too. There's reading, science, math, and history, but he really loves learning how to be healthy. He's learning all about the best food for his plate, and he's learning that exercise helps him feel great. This healthy information with physical education, where he gets his inspiration and his motivation. We find him in conversation with his friends, participation in learning situations. Yeah, and his name is Ed, and this is what he said. He's Market, and I'm here with Neil. He's a melon farmer. Hey, everybody. So tell me, Neil, what all do you have here? Well, I've got some watermelon, some honeydew, and some cantaloupe. Ah, oh. well, are these all the types of melons there are? No, but they are the most popular, and they grow easily in my garden. There are many different types of melons, and what's crazy is that melons are actually in the same plant family as squash, pumpkins, and cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a tasty family reunion, right? <laughs> yeah. So, what about this watermelon here? How long does it take to grow? Well, from seed to fruit, it takes about four months. Oh, that's a long time. But well worth the wait, right? Oh, I think so. Mm. Well, check this out. Watermelons require warm soil, so they grow best here during the summertime. I started planting late spring. Uh, the plants popped up about a week later. They grew into vines along the ground. Then little flowers started popping up on the vine. Finally, tiny little melons started growing where the flowers had been. And they kept growing and got bigger and bigger until I harvested them and brought them here. Wow, that's amazing. You know what I love? I love to eat watermelon on a really hot day. They're so refreshing. What do you like about melons? Well, they taste good <laughs> and they're good for you. Did you know that they don't have any fat or cholesterol? and they are loaded with vitamin C, potassium, and fiber. Wait, tasty and good for me? I gotta have some of that. Well, take your pick. Oh, let's see here. Oh. Gather all around to hear the story I'm telling about this family of fruit we call melon. They grow on vines, but they're not a grape. They're sweet to the taste with a similar shape. Cantaloupe, watermelon, and honeydew. These are the best known, just to name a few. Plus, love to grow where the weather is hot. In summertime, melons really hit the spot. They're melons, fat and cholesterol free, but filled with goodness and vitamin C. Fiber, potassium, and low calories make this mm -mm -mm good to me. Like watermelon with green stripes on its rind. When mom gives me a slice, it's red inside. Most have black seeds that you shouldn't eat, and some have no seeds, which is pretty neat. Super healthy fruit that'll keep you quenched. They're mostly water, about 90%. They're melons! Fat and cholesterol free, but filled with goodness and vitamin C. Fiber, potassium, and low calories makes this mm -mm -mm good to me. They're melons! With antioxidants and lutein, plus vitamins B6 and lycopene. Put them in a fruit salad and you will see why melons are mm -mm good to me. Well, there you have it. Melons are mm -mm, good to me. I hope you give them a try. This has been Ed Said with a message for your head. There's no excuse. Put it to use. Bye. Go to the recipe section of my website and learn how to make a melon ball salad with me and Rebecca Turner.